things are looking up now that we're on to a late lunch because what can possibly go wrong when you've got a studio full of panto characters yeah what could possibly go wrong um let's tell you about them then they are the peel pantaloons who are presenting peter pan at the centenary center opening on the first and then on from the fourth to the seventh oh, no, of isn't. december oh stop oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> In association with Manx Radio. Okay, let's find out who we have in the studio then. Let's go around. So I'm Smee. <gasps> okay, all mm-hmm. right. Oh, and I'm Mabel. <laughs> oh, Mabel, I have to turn your mic I down. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that cleared your ears, didn't it? Turn her down. <laughs> oh, <blimey. laughs> I'm Coke. Okay, Coke, and I'm oh. Peter Pan. I would Apparently. never have guessed that. <laughs> I would never have guessed. It so it is honest. Peter Pan, which is uh, being put on at the Centenary Centre. I'm just going to address um, the Dame issue first of all, if I can, Mabel, because breaking with tradition here, because you are actually a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> yes. That's tactfully put there, I felt. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually, you're actually is, a woman. <laughs> yes, but it's quite... Liked. It is quite unusual, though, isn't it? Because normally, I think traditionally, yeah. the dame is always played by uh, by a man. That's co- quite correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Peter, let's come to you. How have you been finding uh, the rehearsals for this? And are you a woman as well? <laughs> yeah. Traditionally, yeah. <laughs> but I'm very relieved to find I'm a man. Yeah, that, that's a good sign. Um, I can't read, so um, learning lines is uh, quite entertaining. But mm. other than that, yeah, I learned flying zays. Do you th- oh, like are they bit. representing your story well enough, Peter? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Which bit of your story are we hearing about with Peel Pantaloons then? Uh, are you allowed to are you allowed to tell ooh, us much about it? Oh, I don't, not much. I I can well. There's a bit in Neverland. I, that's about what I can say. But um, is that giving too much weight? No, <laughs> that's fine. And um, is there flying involved? Will you be flying? Oh, no. Oh. Um, I I I have attempted to fly. Oh that gosh. I, I officially have. <laughs> this sounds. Um, it, it went well. When people tell us to break a leg, I, I almost have. <laughs> but uh, there will be flying, in in some way. We don't want to spoil the surprise. We've we've worked yeah. around the logistics of the centenary centre, pretty well, mm-hmm. I think. Um, and Coke is that your Coke? Coke. Yes. Okay, I don't remember Coke in Peter Pan. Uh, so no. tell us a little bit about you. I'm one of the the pirates. I'm a very brave brave pirate that okay. likes to tackle things. And it's a there's, great hat you're wearing. It is. There's three of you, isn't there? There is. I've got a brother called Rum and a brother called Ice. <laughs> <laughs> so together we are Rum, Rum Coke and Coke Ice. And ice. <laughs> oh, they are my kind of pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Shmi, are you, is it your job to try and keep everyone in check? Well. Um, yeah, sort of. I think I like to please everybody. So I definitely like to please Mr. Hook. So I'm here. I'm here on behalf of Captain Hook today. He sadly couldn't make it oh. today, so he sent maybe me just as well to be fair in his place. Yeah. Um, but um, again, without giving too much away, Smee is the hero at the end of the day. I keep telling everybody, Smee saves the day. Really yes, say. it's me, Dad. Well, I mean, it's eight today. Oh, no, yes, you don't. Oh, we're just <laughs> waiting for that. We were waiting <laughs> for it. Uh, now, as we say, nope. we are in association with Manx Radio and there will be tickets that are given away next week on Alex in the Afternoon on Gogglebox Guru. Let's uh, go around and find out your real names then. Uh, Shmi, you are? I'm Victoria. And uh, what's your role within Peel Pantaloons generally? I'm currently the chairperson of the committee. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, it's a, it's a busy job. I mean, it's an all year round job for us, the Panto, because we start planning in the new year for, for that year's show. So um, and obviously this time of year is crazy. Um, rehearsals start in September. We tend to pick our script around February time um, and make the announcement early in the year. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's all the planning that goes into it. And then the, the rehearsals start in September and uh, and then before you know it, gosh, we're at show week and it's... It's there. Yeah. And dre- a dress rehearsal last night, was it? We had a dress rehearsal last night and a dress rehearsal tonight. We, we have two groups of kids, so we do two dress rehearsals so that each um, set of kids has a dress rehearsal. Of course, uh, those dreaded germs going round Peel means oh. we, we're short kids at the moment. So we're hoping we've got our, all our fingers crossed that everyone's going to be fit and healthy for, for Sunday for when we start. So Now, which one of you is Lisa? Okay, Lisa, I've had a message from Shannon to say my best friend Lisa is in your studio. Please tell her she's amazing and good luck. And uh, Lisa, how long have you been involved with Pantaloons? Um, I've been involved since 2007. I did my first role in then, I think it was Humpty Dumpty. Um, I had a few years break 
and then back at it after a few years off just sort myself out at school and bits like that trying to study um been back at it now for quite a while I'm I've been on the committee since I was 16 and this year I've took I think a bit of bigger role sort of cutting all the scenery and making sure everything fits together oh, and big job everything it's been very stressful from rehearsals trying to learn my lines and making sure all the scenery is in place and sorted and not getting broken like a few things have it's a very big team effort yeah, everybody and everyone is yeah. yeah i've been doing makeup as Just well i do mom. makeup and hair and all sorts of things <laughs> That was making things. <laughs> right, we have to come to Mabel the Dame now, I think. Uh, tell oh, us who we? you really are. <clears throat> My name is Susie. Um, I'm originally from Lancashire, but I've lived over here about 12 years. It's my first year with the pantaloons, and it's fantastic. It's and have you done I ever did. much acting before? I have, <clears throat> in my 20s, not so long ago. Oh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> I've done... Um, have, you my... been a, have you been a Dame before? No, I haven't. No, so what happened, I auditioned to be a different part, um, but then they said to go for the Mabel part, and um, they obviously liked me very much. So, yeah, it was brilliant. I really, really enjoy it. It's the best thing ever. And as a newbie to the group, I mean, mm-hmm. I know um, H and I have done a bit of acting and, and mm-hmm. things like that, and I think as well as, you know, it's great fun being on stage, the friendships that are formed with being part of a society like the Pantaloons, it's yes. just amazing, isn't it? It is. It is quite soft, but everybody is so nice and kind and helpful. It's fantastic. It's great. Couldn't have a better punch of... Did I say punch? Punch of people. Punch punch and jelly. Punch of people. (laughs) A better bunch of people. All very kind. One big happy family. Yeah, definitely. But it's it's also a big teamwork, isn't it? You you hinted on that as well, isn't it? People go and see it, and there'll be hundreds going to see this Mm -hmm. over the next few weeks. And you see Mm -hmm. all you guys out the front having great fun, having a laugh, getting all the all the getting all the limelight, which is what it's all about. (laughs) But it it only comes to pass when there's everyone pulling together and you know all the stuff backstage, person in the corner doing all the scenery, doing the makeup, doing all these things that the punters don't notice no and uh, Peter we have to talk to you now uh, who are you really oh uh, my name's Tim oh I was hoping your name was <laughs> going to be Peter that would have been brilliant um, yeah. but uh, how long have you been involved in the pantaloons for um, oh crikey it's been a few years now six years or something like that, something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you've been counting yeah no I've I've done a few with, with these guys and um, yeah Originally got brought in just to improve my confidence and everything. Uh, and this year's been great because there's no acting required, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't know. Like... This part fits in very, very well. Yeah. <laughs> so you are, you are the boy who never grew up, is that yeah, what you're saying? Pretty <laughs> much, yeah. 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 And has I... this been one of your favourite roles then? Or? <laughs> it's been so much fun. <laughs> oh, oh, it's been, it's been an absolute blast to do. I, I might even get the lines right one day. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that you all actually drove here dressed up like yeah, this. Yeah, we did. Oh, that's yeah, just brilliant. I had <laughs> two of them. I had Pete Pan and uh, the dame in my car. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very strange <laughs> looks. Yeah. I really hope you need to get some petrol on the way back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be an absolutely fantastic show. Where can people get tickets? I'm afraid we've sold out. Uh, oh, no, you oh, haven't. Oh, no, they haven't. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. we We made the announcement at the start of the week. Um, <laughs> tickets were on sale online, and we sell our tickets through Celtic Gold, um, and we're very grateful for, for the help that they give us with selling the tickets. But, um, yeah, at the start of the week, I confirmed from both sources that they'd mm. sold out. So, it, I mean, it's it's the tickets are so sought after. Um, we sold out last year, um, very close to a sellout. I think the year before, I think eventually it was a sellout. Um, but it seems to be getting quicker and quicker yeah. to sell out well, now. I think any regulars know that yeah. uh, Peel Pantaloons makes sort of Glastonbury tickets look a bit sort of slack. Mm. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I'm still getting requests for tickets, for, and it, it's, it's such mixed emotions when we make that announcement because obviously we're very proud that that's happened. But, you know, we're, we're also aware that people do miss out. Well, that is where it's very good news, Christy exactly. D. That, it's, uh, it's OK if you didn't get your tickets <laughs> because we've got got some they're, I was going to say like gold dust they're like fairy dust uh, we're going to be giving away pairs of tickets at, at, during Gogglebox Guru next week on Alex in the afternoon so don't fear never fear if you didn't get your tickets yet you can get some with us right here on Manx Radio 